Welcome to the first um, episode of our question and answer show. And we're here today taking questions from brokers on the PRA changes, SS 1316. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first question we've got here is, will ten tenants benefit from the changes? Um, well, I guess what we're going to see is a more professional sector. Um, you know, the changes in terms of not just the PRA, but in particular the tax changes, mean that we're much more likely to, to see a much more professional landlord base. Um, I think for landlords looking to come into this market, there are now a lot more challenges and a lot more things to consider. So um, in terms of having a more professional landlord, that should mean for a better, I guess, quality of asset or, or property for tenants to live in um, and a lot better um, landlords to deal with in the events of issues. So the next question is an interesting one. What will be the biggest challenges for, for brokers in the next three to six months? Um, I think you're seeing a lot of lenders come out with their PRA changes. Obviously, we announced ours back in, um, in August, uh, along with the supporting documentation that we will re we'll require. So um, from dealing with a Kemp Reliance point of view, you won't see any change in underwriting, the flexible approach that we've had, the ability to look at uh, what we call portfolio landlords anyway. That is our everyday business. But you'll see more lenders look for supporting documents such as assets and liability statements, business plans and cash flow forecasts. And these are perhaps documents that not every broker will be familiar with completing. Um, in addition to that, from a, from a lender's point of view, we now have to validate the landlord's portfolio. Um, Kent Reliance and, and Interbay, we've made this easy, um, bringing a sort of light touch approach by using the e-tech technology, which will enable you to upload a spreadsheet and for us as a lender to validate it instantly. It will also hold the details there so that you can use them at a later date. Question three, should portfolio landlords feel confident or not about scaling their businesses going forward? Um, I guess for the vast majority of landlords, this won't affect their decision to, to scale forward. What I would say to, to both brokers and landlords is it becomes more imperative, I guess, to, to collate documentation up front. So, getting that business plan filled out, getting that asset and liability statement filled out and that cash flow forecast. Uh, it's important to remember that you know lenders are still going to be vying for business, they're still going to be looking at landlords to do buy-to-let mortgages and I think for the professional landlord they're not going to slow down their business plans on, on, on the basis of needing more documentation. They will pick up the opportunity when it's right. So what will new regulation mean for the sector? Um, I guess we're already starting to see that, not just with regulation, but with the tax changes. You're seeing a distinct, I guess, divide between what I call vanilla buy-to-let and what I call specialist buy-to-let. And we've started to see it over the last 12 months, the rise of the specialist lender, particularly in terms of things like limited company, more people investing in HMO or multiple units, um, and the fact that, of course, you know, rental criteria is different if you're doing it in a, a corporate name as opposed to a sole name. I also think that the, the recent PRA changes play into the hands of the specialist lender, where it's not a one-size-fits-all approach, but we're able to look at deals on a, an individual or case-by-case -case basis. So the final question is, how is Kemp Reliance going to help brokers with the new changes? Um, I touched on it earlier when I mentioned our, our e-tech or, or, or the buy-to-let hub that we've uh, told, uh, that we've, we've partnered with e-tech to make brokers' lives easier with these new upcoming changes. The fact that you're going to be able to upload either our own spreadsheet that we have on the website or the one given to you by the landlord enabled to, in, and enable you to be able to manipulate or change that to fit our criteria and for us to validate the landlord's portfolio. Other than that, you don't see a lot of changes from us. We're used to seeing business plans, we're used to asking uh, uh, in-depth questions about how the landlord's um, cash flow is, is going and indeed we have certain stages within our process where we'll interview an applicant or a landlord. Um, this in addition to our, our credit committee that meets twice a week to discuss complex cases means that we're very well set up and it's very much business as usual. Uh, thanks for watching and hope you found today's question and answer session useful. Um, we'll be doing this on a regular basis. So please feel free to subscribe to us on this YouTube channel um, and thank you very much for your time.